Hey there, everybody, and welcome to Crossbow the Unity. This is Tabo DRC, the CBU. We're trying to use this to build bridges of understanding, to create dialogue between the body of Christ, the United States, of all colors, styles, and types, in a low-key fashion. There's enough hard-hearted, shouting, TMZ, tabloid-type ministry accusing. We're not trying to be sensational, but we are trying to deal with the dialogue, but also respect the people, so you won't see me featuring their name and their face and plastering it up there and calling attention to their houses and, you know, an expose. To me, that is wicked because it breeds cynics. The Old Testament, excuse me, the New Testament prophets, according to Chat GPT AI, because I asked it, said that they named the false prophets in the community, but they did it to the Christians, not society. They kept it in there, and they also didn't revile them, demean them. So when I was raised, I was raised happy. I wasn't raised dysfunction. I can't help it. A lot of people, you know, I got grace. A lot of people did not. And I keep dealt, you know, I've dealt with a lot of these. <laughs> and now I know how bad it, it was. And then I had damages in my own heart from abuse, from real repeated big abuse. It was demonic. I've had it turf protecting and privately and family, not my parents, not my family, but, you know, marriage and everything. And I forgave them, but if it keeps on going, like LP and demonic, if it keeps on going, you have to do something. You just don't stand there. You have sweet baby Jesus. Yeah. You turn the other cheek, walk the extra mile, and go to God and say, Lord, what do I do? Forgive them, Father. They know not what they did or do or doing. But then you get help, and if nobody is there, because my dad had died, my parent, my mother and sister had moved away, I had nobody in town, then you go to God and you think, who's out there? And you go and say, well, can I get counsel? And it's LP. <laughs> but you don't know anybody else. Or else they're just indifferent. It's like, the woman's are, you know, it's the woman's fault, you're not submit. No, forgive them, forgive them. But I'm saying, if they're coming after you with occult prayers, targeting occult which they do and are doing are known to do and it's accepted approved even tolerated then you have to rise up so there's a time every instant and person and situation is so different but but due to this dysfunction we can teach on it now because paul said in training in the last day second timothy 3 1 through 5 and first timothy 6 5 turn away even in fellowship but he gives a list of characteristics in the last days and that includes churches, ministries even prophets so watch out for all of us, you know everybody, so we think the cure of that, the good news is hopefully people will understand the end of that chapter, 2 Timothy 3 1 through 5, has the cure for it the word of God, it's profitable for doctrine, correction reproof instruction so that the men and women of God will be thoroughly furnished and that's all we want to do my goal is not to target a human. I'm targeting doctrinal massive quantity due to the harvest and the need to get this thing delivered. And it is so charismatic, detrimental, or prophetic prophecy, you know, spirit-filled, not everyone. It depends upon the quality of their doctrine and their pure heart, if they have a holy fear of the Lord or not, if they really are non-biased or not. And everybody could be different, and it's the people, the trained people that are really the culprits at the grassroots, because they sat under that, soaked in the Kool-Aid, mesmerized by the big prophet, false or true, apostle who teaches it, and all the staff and all the elders are watching, and that is the pitfall of false teaching, occult spirit, occult and cult, and I know it because I'm a prophet. Let's put it this way, this is remedial prophecy. This is seer theology for the advance of the kingdom. God's kingdom, not my kingdom, not this ministry. This is not even got members. <laughs> this is for the sake of the Lord, the most high God cleaning out the temple money chasers or whatever this is. It's gotten such a fad, it's so famous now that the, you go in there and you go to some that have this doctrine, just this kind of elite doctrine. And you go in there, and if you're not famous, they're suspicious. They're, 
it is so bad. <laughs> and I've gotten where, you know, a Bible verse comes to mind in ministry, discernment comes with reason of use. Well, I didn't know about this. I was never raised around it. I never had to go through this. My parents were not LP. They were Baptists. And they were not red state. They were like whoever the, you know, vote issues. So I had to understand and process, analyze, or review what in the world this is that I attract if I show up just to go to a charismatic prophetic worship or a conference or a, or a fellowship. And it's in their teams. It's, it's just a giant, huge religious spirit. And it is so defiling if they think that you're their enemies. Paranoid. I call it paranoid. I have a lot of things I've thought of during the years. You know, I called it wrote an article in 98, I started getting really attacked by this as I traveled the nation, you know, for the Lord, and I thought, I, I wrote an article, Psychic Star Wars in the Body of Christ, just for showing up, you get red, you get your, you know, all, even, nobody is just fit, loving, they're just suspicious, watching out for themselves and their turf. That is the, the real fruit. So to me, I believe it's a caliber of teaching, a caliber of, of theology, and we want to help deliver the LP, so I teach whelp studies. <laughs> know your accuser. You might as well not waste time when you, you know, and your spirit will remember because it, I trigger it. Now, I would never teach on it again. A lot of these, because they always have their, you know, denial, She's offended. They're offended. No. We know our Bible. You're false. All right. Oh, it's their fault because they are not, they're contentious, they're divisive, they're not sweet like baby Jesus. Oh, uh, sorry, that's your choice. But you don't know. You're not out here. And we, we know that you have your guard needs, but there's a balance between, I go a lot of places that, Nobody has ever done this to me except one doctrine. One doctrine. So I'm speaking on it. But let me, I want to talk about my happy son. <laughs> this is dysfunction. But after a while, you get to know that you better be careful. You watch. If you know that it's good music and they're, you know, really good gifting and everything, you watch in there and you think, I've been around this bush before. If it, the ambush, <laughs> am I going to get. Am I going to get spied? I can feel it. In 2021, my last time of dysfunction, I was sitting there trying to find a fellowship, just weary, weary. See, this never gets to me. They never do this unless I'm in my worst shape, tired, going through grief, exhausted. I'm not dysfunctional, but they it triggers their dysfunction. So I'm just addressing it to, you know, it's me. I think wow, God let me see this. Let's put it this way. It's a I have a deliverance ministry, and this is to deliver these from sick, sicko doctrine in their group. I really am. It's a trial. I would never teach on this, because I am sweet baby Jesus. Very approachable. James 3.17, fruit, all the life, quality, nice person. Nobody thinks any different until I go there. And it's the, it's the doctrine of false religion and sin spying that comes down from maybe the whelp monk back in the day who wrote the book about the hammer of the witch, witch inquisition and it came over on the Puritans up in New England, patriarchs the whelp up there and had the Salem witch trials that's all I think, and good old boy shepherding Mount Willie, I've thought 30 years of this slow discovery <laughs> comparing it to what I was raised under and most Christians are the real respect, plus it's bias. I believe that is misogyny, and I believe I'd never been through that. I don't really think like that. I want to tell you about that. I don't think women live. I never had to be liberated. I think I'm a person. God uses me this way, that way. If I'm married, I'm in chain of command. I'm always respectful. I'm not a bigot. Why does it? Why does this spirit have to know my business? Why is this so spirit so perverse? 